Largest climate protest yet at this week's United Nations Climate Talks is taking place in Glasgow, Scotland. It's the latest of a series of rallies as world leaders meet at what's known as COP26. Roxana Siberia is in Glasgow, where activists are calling on countries to cut fossil fuels and greenhouse gas emissions. Roxana, good morning. Good morning, Jeff. Protesters are just starting to gather here despite the rain. They want their calls for more action on climate change to be heard by world leaders who are meeting just a few blocks away. Tens of thousands of protesters are expected to march here in Glasgow today, even more than yesterday when many young people hit the streets. Many tell us they've already been living with the disastrous effects of climate change, whether it's droughts, wildfires, or smog. In the past week at COP26, several governments have pledged to curb deforestation and carbon and methane emissions but many protesters say they've seen similar promises broken before and that countries and companies must do more faster to protect the world they're inheriting. We asked John Kerry, who's at the talks negotiating on behalf of President Biden, what message he has for them. I respect their worry completely, and they have every reason in the world to be angry and frustrated. I'm frustrated. I have my own reservations about some promises that get made, but, but what is happening here is different. This is a different cop, and I sense a much greater sense of urgency from companies, from NGOs. Everybody involved here understands this is for real and we've got to get this done. Swedish climate activist Greta Thunberg, who has inspired a lot of young people to protest, has called this summit a PR exercise. She's expected to speak at the rally later today. Also today, more than 200 events just like this one are set to take place around the world. Michelle? And they seem ready for action. Thank you, Roxana.